pleasure to have you here, Will Miller Singh Sr. Um, you're returning to London after 64 years for the Olympic Games. Tell me what it's like to be back in London after your first gold medal performance in 1948. Thank you very much for bringing me here. Now, about 1948 Olympics, They organized the games soon after the World War. Very creative on part of GB to organize the games and uh, arrangements in those days, according to that period, were very good. Uh, for a common man, there were strict uh, restrictions. Uh, what is called as far as uh, food is concerned, but for players, mess, everything was available. And then games, well, teams, most of some of the teams were accommodated in schools, school buildings, college buildings. Uh, the tournament, well, after there was no Olympic Games in 1940 and 44 because of World Wars. So this was the first tournament for me also. India had become an independent country, sovereign country. It was an honor for me to represent a sovereign country. Because uh, before that, India won three gold medals, but as a British colony, under the British flag. So I played all my Olympic Games after India became independent under the Indian national flag. That was a great time. Absolutely. Now, 1948 was the beginning of three Olympic Games for yourself, in which India won the gold medal in all three. Now, I understand that during the 1952 Games, you had a scoring record that still hasn't been matched to this date. Can you tell us about that? Well, 48. UB gave me a good start. I carried through to Helsinki. That was my seventh Olympic game. And uh, India won the gold medal there too. I was lucky to score so many goals, especially uh, India won the first match by 4 0 perhaps against Austria. And then the second match was against GP. We won by 3-0, 3-1 or 3-0. In the final, we played against Holland, and in that match, we won by 6-1 perhaps, 6-1. And out of those 6-1, I scored five goals. And all three against GB in semi-final, and five out of six against Holland in final, uh, eight out of nine goals. That is a world record till today, after 60 years. Just incredible. Um, now we've watched a bit of the Holland-Germany game earlier today. Tell me what do you think about the modern game of hockey compared to, to what you played in the, uh, in the 40s and 50s? I think the game has changed a lot. Altogether a different game. Uh, rules have changed. Equipment has changed. Playfield facilities have changed. So all changes. And entire game has changed. It has become because of the artificial turf, all weather, same field, same play field facilities. In our times, it, when it rained, it be, used to be very difficult for us to adjust. Although we won the London Olympic Games final when the ground was wet, heavy, still we won because team in those days, Indian team used to be very good. So, but then, now, this surface, all weather, same, same for all teams, so this is very good, it's a good improvement. And you've come back to the stadium and seen many members of the hockey family after a large number of years. It's, it's great to see the reception you've received. Do you have any great memories of some of, the, some of, the, of, some of your friends you've seen here? I was overwhelmed. I was really uh, short of suitable words to, to thank and appreciate that reception. I am grateful to the hockey family. 
I am an ordinary member of the Hockey family and the entire credit for all my achievements, for everything, for these honors. I share this with my parents, with my wife and family and with my teammates and coaches. I am grateful to all because without them it's a team game. For an individual it's very difficult. Team was very good. So I share the credit with my teammates. Very good. It's on behalf of the whole hockey family, it's an honor to have you here. Thank you very much. I feel honored whenever hockey I am a member of the hockey family and I am your own own person. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I am grateful. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks a lot.